Hello, hello, hello! How's everybody doing? It's Freddy Photo One here doing my part of the fragrance reviewers tag. Um, I was kindly tagged twice, so you've been duped by two of my good friends. One, uh, Carlos from Good Smellers, and the second tag was Steven from Red Lessons. Um, th this whole reviewers tag thing was started out by Lupe uh, from the Lupe Experience and um, it's basically 12 questions to let everybody know our fragrance journey and uh, a little bit more about us and our fragrance uh, choices you can say um, 12 questions and uh, let, let's just get started uh, number one uh, what what are your earliest fragrance memories to be honest my fragrance my fragrance memories uh, can basically be put into one word family I uh, as far as I can remember my parents had uh, fragrances on the dresser nowhere near the amount of fragrances that we have in our collections now or most of us do um, they always had a few my mom had things all the way from Galan down to Avon my dad had the usual suspects he had a uh, Dracar uh, uh, Aramis, Lagerfeld, Lagerfeld Photo, Halston, etc. etc. I also remember my grandfather wearing Old Spice uh, aftershave, and I remember my grandmother wearing some type of uh, splash, uh, scented splash. I can't remember the exact uh, fragrance or brand that it was. Uh, my two uncles wore fragrance, they, they actually only had one each. I remember what well, that I remember. I remember one of my uncles wearing Ralph Lauren Safari. Every time I went to his house, he had you know he had it in the bathroom, which we know it's a no no. Uh, but I would sneak uh, a couple pull you know, triggers when I was there. My other uncle wore Armani. I think it's Armani Perome. I can't remember. Um, I always thought it looked like a flat light bulb, but that's. Uh, those are my memories uh, growing up so in a nutshell I kind of you can say that my a lot of my childhood memories were linked to fragrances without me even knowing <clears throat> or realizing second question is uh, what was your first fragrance purchase uh, I can't recall the first purchase uh, I'll try to remember as we go along uh, but I could remember always trying to take fragrances whatever my dad had I would try to pull it off um, but if I have to really think hard um, what I first purchased on my own I will have to say it was either Yope which I used to call Jupe or um, Cool Water I later on I bought you know the Dreamer and uh, a few others but basically those were one, one of those two were my first fragrance purchase uh, my first niece purchase was is the third question and uh, that's fairly simple uh, I started this journey in 2012 around June Father's Day time around there and um, in January well New Year's Eve uh, I was home it was just me my wife and uh, kids we were hanging out but I, I was on the computer a little bit and talking to some guys on the uh, on the on Facebook groups and uh, one of one of the guys was trying to uh, I think his name was Brandon he was trying to sell a few things off and about a half hour after the 2013th New Year I purchased uh, LDDM by uh, Andy Tower uh, at that time I had already sampled it and I thought it was amazing uh, it changed my whole concept on fragrances and uh, after that purchase I never looked back um, and the next question uh, would be number four. What is your first blind buy? Uh, my first blind buy, it has to be Amen, uh, Thierry Mugler. Uh, I first got it, I was like, what the f is this? But little do we know, it kind of helped transform my nose into what it is now. Uh, one of the better purchases at the time for me. Um, I think without me purchasing that fragrance, I probably wouldn't be where I am today as far as fragrance uh, preferences. Um, number five is, what was your best blind buy? 
Uh, my best blind buy is a toss up between Armage's Opus 6 and Zhezhov's Kobe or Kobe, whatever. Um, both of those were blind buys that at first sniff immediately jumped to the top of my uh, my best fragrance list you, you can call it, if you can call it that. Um, my favorite fragrance notes um, that's constantly changing um, but ones that some notes that stay consistent are amber, cinnamon, uh, cedar and tonka but I, I have noticed that uh, bergamot and neroli have been playing a role in some of my favorite fragrances especially bergamot lately uh, your, my, what is, number eight is what is your favorite fragrance house by far my favorite fragrance house has to be Zhezhov. Um it was an easy answer just because for three simple reasons one in my, in my collection Zhezhov is simply rep simply represents the most number of bottles within my collection um, I'm not gonna say how many but it holds by far the, the largest amount of uh, number wise of bottles in my collection. Number two, uh, in my opinion, Zhezhov fragrances are very versatile, which is one of the main things I look for when purchasing fragrances. Um, most of them, if not all, most of them you can wear all year long uh, or for most of the year. Um, and number three, we're talking about total package from box to pouch to bottle all high quality in my opinion the juice high quality in my opinion um, a lot of people say that it's not worth what they charge now again my opinion I don't think any of these high price bottles or fragrances are worth what we pay but like everything else in life, uh, whatever you're into or whatever you're motivated by, if you enjoy it, you have to pay the price uh, in order to have it. Um, if we start separating needs from wants, we don't need these fragrances, so no, it's not worth the money. Oh, uh, but these things are we want, so we work hard, play hard, we get things that uh, will make us happy. Um, number nine is what fragrance best describes you now this was wasn't an easy question but let's see I, what I think best describes me would be uh, MFK's Oud now the reasons I say this is because at first glance you think you you will not you're not gonna like this fragrance me whatever uh, by appearance or especially the fragrance because simply it's Oud not everybody enjoys oud and just by calling it oud I think people go into sniffing this hesitant uh, but once you give it a shot it will, it will, it will surprise you I'll surprise you um, it's both soft spoken but bold um, stands strong but doesn't overpower um, I'm kind of I'm a kind hearted person that speaks my mind uh, uh, <clears throat> And I know, and I know, uh, I am very liked and respected uh, for most places that I go. But at no point do I show off or have an overwhelming personality. So I, that's why I think uh, that rep, that that fragrance best represents me. At number ten, uh, what is your favorite fragrance? At the moment, I cannot say that I have a favorite fragrance because this this changes uh, constantly. Um, and, and you know, and it also depends on my mood and the situation. Uh, but it, I have a few number ones that will battle it out, and I, I think it would be uh, Creed Spice and Wood, Armage Opus 6, uh, Zhezhov's Ridgewood, and Tom Ford's Private Blend Tuscan Leather. Those would one of those would be my favorite fragrance. Um, number 11, what is your fragrance profile? My fragrance profile will be. A well-balanced, versatile fragrance, sweet but not candy-like, uh, 
great performance but not beast uh, I think that that's pretty much covers all the bases of what I look for in most of my fragrances and last question number 12 what are your fragrance what is your fragrance resolution moving forward is to continue to learn anything I can about this hobby and also as I learn give back to the community by giving what I my knowledge to anyone that needs it or asks for it um, also I've been constantly trying to uh, consolidate my collection I, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed every few months I kinda go through a selling spree which I'm currently in now and it's just basically no matter how much I like a fragrance if I don't use it it has to go uh, I have to have and you know once you have a certain amount of fragrances you can't use them all so I tend to clear it out and keep it around 40 50 bottles that's still a lot and I'm trying to figure out a way to get less than that but it's hard especially when you have a passion like the way we do uh, those are my 12 questions I hope you guys enjoyed watch my other videos um, at the end of all these we have to tag someone or a few people I'm tagging two people two other good friends of mine um, Gregory Deshaun uh, and uh, the gentleman's corner 1914 you guys know these guys they were in the game before I have um, I'm interested to see where you guys are coming from fragrance wise and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.